Stampin's. This is Wendy with Love and Stampin'. I am so excited that you're here with me today. We are going to do some really fun stuff. So, um, I'm going to be showing you 15 different, well, it's actually more than 15 different card ideas using new catalog products. But one of the things I want to tell you before we get started is um, my June free gift. I want to show you what that is. It is these gorgeous little faceted gems. They are adhesive on the back. And when you place a $40 order or more with me using this host code here, which might be a little small for you to see, um, G U V like Victor, Y T like Tom, Z H S, that host code will get these free for you when you place a $40 order or more by June 27th. Now, what I want to tell you um, is there is a link below the video to shop with me, but the host code is also listed below. So you don't have to worry about trying to memorize this. The host code will be there for you. Okay, also starting next Tuesday, we are going to be doing a giveaway every single um, Tuesday for the month of June. So I'm excited to share this with you and tell you more about it. So stay tuned till the end of the video and I will explain what we're doing. Now, my original plan today was to actually teach you how to make some handmade gift bags out of designer series paper. However, I have some things to share. <laughs> Hold one second. Okay. So I didn't end up getting to do that because I have family in town visiting from out of state and I just simply ran out of time. And if I'm not going to be able to put up a quality blog post for you with um, all the details and information that you're used to getting from me, then I just don't want to put one up. So instead today, what you're going to get is gorgeous handmade cards that I have received from swaps. And then I also have a sneak peek to show you for the paper party. So we're gonna do all of that today instead. Okay, so we're gonna start with this card. This was made by Lori Krause and it is using that new Hues of Happiness bundle and designer series paper. And it is gorgeous, is it not? You are wonderful in every way and this is heat embossed in gold. She's actually, instead of stamping these flowers, she's actually cut them from the designer series paper. So there's not a super ton of stamping um, happening. So this is just beautiful. I love how it turned out. Okay, there's that one. This one, also gorgeous. I really, really love it. Um, this says best wishes and happy thoughts and it has that beautiful die cut. This is from the Sun Prince bundle of goodies and this was made by Amy Combs. Beautifully done on the inside as well. Okay, next one is using that same sun prints. I love this card. This is a very much a Wendy style card. I love the colors. I love that we have a very nice, clean, crisp focal point. I love the twine that they added to this card. So beautiful. And it's a thinking of you, which I think all of us can use thinking of you cards right now, right? Okay, this one, perfect for a dad or grandpa birthday, uncle, brother, happy birthday to a classic. And it's just a beautiful card made using the He's the Man suite of products. And this is made by my friend, Sandy Carlson, who I'm going to get to see this weekend. And I'm very excited about that. So um, there's that one. Okay, next we have Wishing You the Best Day Ever. This was created by Judy Garza, and I love it. I love that there is this nice center focal point. I love the color she chose to use. This is using that new, um, what's it called? Frames for every occasion, framed occasions, something like that. I don't have it in the top of my head. Beautiful, beautiful. She's layered these hexagons together to give it this nice black outline, which really sets off this black ink in the middle. Gorgeous card. And then she added rhinestones in the middle of all of the flowers. Okay, this one is also very pretty using Parakeet Party and Starry Sky. And this one is by Jay. 
Very, very pretty. I absolutely love this card. Happiness grows within. And it's wisteria that's hanging down here. And there's this like pretty little vine. It's just gorgeous. It actually reminds me a lot of my grapes that I have growing in the backyard. Very pretty. This is by Diane Bogen Bogenhagen. Hopefully I said that right. Beautiful card. Lots of die cutting on this one. Okay, I love this card. This is by Christine Bertram, who actually is the organizer of this swap that I participate in. Hands down, coolest way I have seen anybody use these dies. So this is from that beer bundle. I can't ever remember the whole name of it. Um, but she die cut in vellum all the glasses and then die cut the center pieces in solid cardstock. And then she did a cute little sentiment here. And the way she positioned this on the cardstock really makes it look like it's sitting on a bar. She um, embossed the background here with brick embossing folder so that it kind of has this brick wall look. And then this here where all the glasses are sitting is embossed with a um, with that wood embossing folder so it looks like a tabletop. Absolutely gorgeous. And then she stamped one on the inside, which is super cute. She's got her little bit of ribbon here, her embellishments, very cute. Okay, here's from the tea bundle, which is so cute. This is by Amanda Walhart. Very cute, love all the layering. This one, sending thanks for all you do, is a pocket. Now, I love this card, and this one is one that I'm going to case the design of, but what I particularly love about this card is how she used the designer series paper to make it continuous. Isn't that neat? I think it would be really cool to attach a um, gift card to the back of this or even just tuck one in the pocket, but I love how this card came out. Just beautiful, and this was by Carissa. Very, very pretty. Beautifully done. Again, another gorgeous card. Some really fun embossing done here on this background. And it looks like um, some maybe heat embossing or inking done on top of the foil paper. Really cool looking. The panda bear is all, it uh, looks like probably watercolored um, on the tree and stuff. Just really cute really cute. This is by Wendy Lee. I love her. She's just a gem. Okay, this one, again, very pretty. Um, not necessarily the color scheme I love. I don't necessarily care for um, this color scheme, but I know a lot of people do. So it's just not one that calls to me, but I think it's really pretty, and she did a great job on it. And I don't know who it's by. There's no name on it, so it might have fallen out. It could be Lori Mueller. I'm not 100% sure. Um, anyway, still a very pretty card and love this uh, die set. Okay, this one is by Rhonda Morgan. Best wishes and happy thoughts. Beautiful card. Lots of beautiful stamping and die cut layering here. Beautiful ribbon used. I love the cardstock color. Just a gorgeous card all the way around. And really, you could use this card for anything. You could use it for birthdays. It could be for a, a wedding shower, a baby shower, all kinds of things. Next up is this really beautiful card using that Hues of Happiness bundle. This is by Bonnie Schmitz. And some stamping on the inside. Wishing you all the happiness you can imagine. Very pretty. Okay, this one very pretty. I always love any sort of a fun fold card. You guys know that about me. Wishing you the best day ever. I love how this hexagon hangs off the edge and then the stamping in the background is really cool because when you lift it, it's on the inside of the card, but when it's flat, it feels like it's part of the front of the card, which I think is kind of brilliant. So this might be something I have to try. This is by Kathy Miller. And then this one you might recognize this one is by Miss Wendy Cranford herself, and I created this for this swap. So for those that participated in this swap, um, they received this card from me, and then I ended up getting one back. So 
There are 16 beautiful handmade card ideas using brand new products from the new Stampin' Up! catalog. If you saw anything here that you totally love and you want to know any more product details, you can always leave me a message in the comments below or email me and I can help you out. Now, I have more to show you, so don't go anywhere. And we're still going to talk about our giveaways that are going to start next week. And you guys need the details on those. So hold on one second here. Let me get these out of the way. Now that I've shown these to you, I can move them off of the hold on to showing desk and on into the... Um, organize desk. Okay. Here are some random acts of kindness that I've received recently and I wanted to share them with you. Okay. This one is from Denise Cheadle. She hand stamped this beautiful card for me. I really love it. I think it's so pretty. And she sent me a very sweet thank you note on the inside. This one came from Erin Talley, who is a customer. Beautiful, beautiful card. She didn't hand make this one. This is, um, oh yep, Brazen Edwards. There you go. Artwork. So I'm not sure who designed these, but I just think it's beautiful because it's a Weimariner. And most of you know, I have Vishlas, which is pretty close to a Wymie. So anyway, I love it. I'm sure she thought of me when she saw this dog. And then this is from... Oh yeah, Patty G. Okay, so here is what I think is incredible about this. So the front, first of all, let's talk about the card, okay? Beautiful card, have a peachy day, inside adorable, covered it with designer series paper, absolutely gorgeous. Isn't this just stunning? Oh, this folds, okay, this folds inside, this folds down, this folds down. So I just think this is so, oh, actually maybe it goes like this. Um, so inventive. So I'm putting this in my pile to recreate because I just thought this was super cool. The way this folds, you know me, I'm a sucker for a fun fold. Then she sent this note. I received a new catalog from you this week because I'm, I'm a demonstrator. I feel bad. You had to pay for that earlier this year. I purchased from you to help you reach your fund raising goal. Most demos send catalogs to their customers which is so very generous, but I don't think that expense for me should be on you. Please accept this cash to help offset your expense. Can you believe this? She sent me $20. So I originally was going to send it back to her. And then I thought, you know what? I am going to put this in my pocket and buy myself and my cousin a cup of coffee. I hope she's watching this, Patty G. Um, I hope you're watching. I'm going to buy us a cup of coffee and a snack or something on our trip that we're about to go on. And when we do, we will think of you and we will talk about you. And I'm just considering this a very generous, loving blessing that you totally did not need to do. But isn't that the kindest thing ever? I've never had anybody do anything like that was, I mean, I didn't, I, she probably didn't request the catalog. I sent it uh, without realizing on accident and she reimbursed me tenfold. So there are just some really wonderful people in this world. Can I just say that? Really wonderful people. So this is a little thanks sentiment here. And then this opens up and this is from Carla. Look at how this closes though. See this? It's like a wedged. So you do this. Now, because I'm a card maker, I knew to be careful. But what I would worry about with this card <laughs> is that someone wouldn't know uh, to kind of be a little bit gentle with it and they would just rip rip this open. So at first I thought, oh, this is a really cool card design, which it is. It is a cool card design, but I would only send a card like this to a fellow card maker. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for the generous way you run your business. You are such a warm giving demonstrator. I always look forward to your YouTube videos. Uh, I'm no longer on Facebook. God, God bless Carla. Isn't that sweet? And it's gorgeous. The card is stunning. Oh, and she did the fancy envelope. Love it. Or Karen. I'm saying Carla. Karen. That was from Karen Fodder. Okay. This came from Stampin' Up from Sarah and Shelly. 
Isn't that cool? So Sarah and Shelly, um, Shelly Gardner is the co-founder of Stampin' Up! And Sarah is a, the CEO of Stampin' Up! And they sent me this card for achieving the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. So I thought that was really cool. This one is from my friend Carrie Williams. This one's from my friend Carrie Williams. And it's a thank you card. I sent her kids some outfits. So she sent me this really cute thank you card. And I just love all the little twine around the edges and the little um, wooden pieces. This was a kit that we had at one time and I just love it, super cute. Okay, this is a thinking of you card. And this is from Cindy. And I'm not gonna read her message cause it's a little bit more personal, private to me. But look what she sent inside. So for those of you who don't know, I'm a huge fan of The Rock. I love The Rock. And so, um, in fact, I even have figurines in my office. Let me see. I'm going to grab them for you so you can see. See? I've got this one, which, by the way, I want to say I didn't buy any of these for myself, just so everybody knows. <laughs> they were gifts. Um, but I have that one. And then... I have this little one that one of my nieces got for me. It's a little die cast metal uh, one from when he wrestled. And then I have this, this book from Tracy Bish in Australia, who's my helper. She sent me this. So I have all kinds of fun little rock paraphernalia in my office and I love it. So I'm going to hang on to this just because... Not necessarily because I want to keep an article about him, but because the fact that a customer recognized hey or team member whoever it is doesn't matter who it is anybody who recognizes like hey I know you love this person or I know you love this thing like it's when um my friend Carolyn sent me Vishla paraphernalia because I own Vishla dogs so sweet and thoughtful I just love it when somebody does something like that um for me and makes me I don't know, just makes me smile. So I'm gonna save this because I thought it was really cute. So there's that. And then, okay, then the other thing I wanna tell you really quick before I share the giveaway stuff, I wanna remind you, this is the June free gift. When you place a $40 online order or more, you get these for free in the mail from me, but they won't be mailed until the end of June, okay? You use this host code to get this gift free. All right, there's that. Now. I also want to show you really quickly, these are some of the cards for the um, awesome event we have coming up, the paper party. They, you'll get PDFs with these, and these cards are going to be part of that. There's going to be a link below the video, and for $39, you can purchase access to the paper party. On June 15th, the price goes up. So I'm going to put the link below the video as soon as I get off of our live event here and I'm going to share that with you so that you can sign up and get it. You will get a bag in the mail for me and an enamel pin and then you get access to all of the PDFs, the videos, everything that we have going on for the paper party you'll have access to, okay? And this is, this is another little goodie we're gonna make. We've got lots of fun stuff we're gonna be doing so you don't wanna miss out. All right, last but not least, let's talk about our YouTube live giveaways. These are gonna begin next week. If you want to be in the giveaways, you have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. There's a little red button that says subscribe when you're on YouTube and you click that and then you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed and we choose your name, you will not win the goodie, but we're giving away um, a bundle, the rainbow bundle, uh, embossing folder. Um, we've got a whole cleaning your um, stamps kit. We've got adhesive kits with other die cut stuff. We have all kinds of fun things we're giving away. So you do not want to miss out on these giveaways. They're going to start next week and they're going to be every single Tuesday So you for the month of June. So you want to make sure you're subscribed and then next week, I'll tell you um, the rest of how you can be entered to win. But being subscribed is the first step. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Okay, 
I think that's all I have for you guys today. I really wish I would have had time to do a project, but these last couple weeks have been really crazy. My daughter graduated from eighth grade, so she's finished with school. I have family visiting from out of state that I haven't seen in a long time since before the pandemic, actually. Um, I am going to be going on a trip. Um, I won't be providing any details on that because I don't like to provide details about when I'm going to be gone. Um, I'll, I'll provide details when I return. How about that? And, um, and yeah, I'm just really, really excited about what's going on with Stampin' Up. The other thing that's happening, okay, today is the last day to be able to purchase the Stampin' Up starter kit and get all those free, um, here, let me show you. You get all of these free in color items, totally free when you purchase the starter kit for $99 plus tax. The shipping on the kit is free. Um, you don't pay anything, but you choose $125 in product and then you get these items free in addition to the $125 in product. Today is it. May 31st, 2022 is the last chance to get this offer. There is a link below the video to get to that. The other thing that um, is happening in the month of June is all of the kits for the month of June are buy one, get one free. Uh, excuse me, buy one, get one half off. And Stampin' Up! has programmed the sale so that the more expensive kit will be the one that you get half off. So that starts tomorrow and that'll go for the month of June. So awesome time to stock up on some kits and take advantage of that offer. Okay, I think that's everything. Let me look through your comments really quick. I appreciate all you guys joining me. Oh, yay, Patty. I'm watching. I'm so happy you got a card. The original design is inspired by Lisa Curcio's daughter. Nice, Gina. Um, I love Lisa and Gina. Very, very, very nice. Oh, this is awesome. What is the die cut on that one? Um, I'm not sure which one you were referring to. I am going to try to take pictures of all of these cards and get them put on my blog. It may not happen today. It might be tomorrow, but I am going to try to get everything put up on my blog for you. And on another day, we will revisit making bags from scratch that we're not giving that up. We're going to do that. But I just couldn't pull it together for today. I do have a video that's going to come out this coming Saturday. So you won't be missing anything. Um, and it won't be what I had planned, but it's going to still be a great little video. So you have that coming as well. Thank you all so much for your well wishes on my trip. I really need this time to reconnect with some of my Stampin' sisters. I'm going to be going to uh, a retreat. And so I'm really looking forward to reconnecting with some demonstrator friends. Um, I definitely need it right now. I think the whole world is suffering a little bit um, from the, you know, just... <laughs> kind of all the things that are going on. So I'm ready to be uplifted and have some just quiet time, downtime, where I don't have to feed anybody and I don't have to, you know, wash any clothes or clean a house or <laughs> all the normal chores that you have to do when you're home, right? Although I love them, I will say I love my chores. I know that probably sounds crazy because I am blessed to have them. If I didn't have those chores, that would mean I wouldn't have the amazing life that I have. So I'm not complaining, but everyone likes to be rejuvenated sometimes, right? All right. I will talk to you guys again soon. Um, see you next week. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and thank you so much for being with me. Bye-bye.